The question is, according to radiographic classification of C-shaped canals, identify the figure. So, they are asking what type of a radiographic C-shaped canal is this. So, what exactly is a C-shaped canal is? Usually, when you see your teeth, the molars especially, let us say that we are talking about the mandibular molars, you have a mesiobuccal, a mesiolingual canal and one large distal canal. In C-shaped canals, what exactly happens is, your mesiobuccal and your distal canal are confluent with each other, with your mesiolingual staying separate or the other possibility is the distal fuses with the mesiolingual and your mesiobuccal is uh, present as it is. So, this exactly gives the appearance of a C shape and that is why it is called as a C shaped canal. Now, there were two people who worked extensively on understanding C shaped canals. One was Pan et al. and the second one was Melton. Okay. So, Melton was the first person who described your C-shaped canals and he gave a classification. He added one type 1, type 2 and type 3. Pan et al. later, he added two more types, type 4 and type 5. The same person, that is Pan, he gave even the radiographic classification of C-shaped canals so that when you see a radiograph, you will be easily able to identify how a C-shaped canal looks. So, based on that, Pan et al. gave three types of radiographic classification of C-shaped canals. The first one is actually appears as two distinct canals. That means your mesial canal and your distal canal appears to be the same. Like I told you, because there is a possibility that there will be a confluence of the distal with the mesial buccal or the mesial lingual, ideally it should look like a single canal. However, in type 1, they appear to be two distinct canals because the isthmus that links the mesial and the distal main canals is very thin. That means, if this is your distal canal and if this is your mesiolingual and suppose this is the C-shape, this isthmus is very thin. As a result of that, it does not appear very clinically distinct on the radiogram. Second point is type 2. That in type 2, you have the mesial and the distal canals assume their own individual course to the apex. Thus, there are apparently two distinct canals on the radiograph. So, that means you have your distal canal and you have your mesiobuccal and your mesiolingual. So, they give a very normal appearance. Type 3 is one canal continues its course to the apex. One canal continues its course to the apex, giving the, apex, giving the image of a distinct canal. Whereas, the other proceeds very close or within the fused area. That is, the web between the two main roots in the apical door. To put it simply, what does type 3 mean is, you have your distal canal and your mesiolingual or your mesiobuccal. They appear to be as two separate canals. However, as you go towards the radiographic apex, what happens is, what appear to be as two separate canals end up becoming fused into one large canal. And that is what is type 3. As you can see in the question over here, Type 1 would be, you have uh, type 1 which would be asymmetric, type 2 would be symmetric and type 3 will be merging because these merge towards the apex. That is why type 3 is merging. Okay. Now, this is another classification where Pan gave three different types of C-shaped canals. As you can see over here, this is exactly how a C-shaped canal looks where the distal merges with the major buccal in this appearance. In C2, you have the distal forcing its way towards the major buccal, but does not completely uh, fuse with the major buccal. In type 3, you have three separate canals from the distal to the major buccal. In type 4, you have one single canal right from the start, from the pulse chamber all the way to the apex. And in type 5, no canal lumen can be observed, which is only seen near the apex. So, that means you do not have a canal lumen, you just see the, at the apex that there is a lumen that is present. So, the rest all is filled with dentine. So, the answer to the question over here is symmetric because if you can see they are symmetric on both the sides. That is all.